Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Game Edition channel. And in this video, I'm actually going to do something different than what I usually do, and that is unboxing this MSI A320M A Pro motherboard. This isn't just any ordinary MSI A320 motherboard. This is actually the cheapest A320 motherboard that I could find on Amazon at the time of recording. I think it's about like £40 or something. And actually seeing what you get for your money, because, you know, when people... Um, see cheap motherboards are like oh yeah it's only got two dim slots it's got no heat sinks on the vrm so not good for anything really but what do you actually get and is it even something that you should consider if you're really strapped for cash and you just need to like get something that get your system up and running so of course i'll have this uh, model in the description down below i'll take you to our amazon page so let's just get right into it before we start this unboxing, I want to say that we are so close to getting to 200 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, just subscribe. It helps the channel a lot more than you think. And hopefully we can get there before the end of the end of 2020. Wow, it's only two months until the end of 2020. Hopefully we have a better year because this one's kind of crap, not going to lie. So yeah, on with the unboxing. Okay, well, um, first thing to do is actually to unbox it, really. So this is it, if I can even get it out. Can, can I? All right, there we go. Yeah, come on. All right, so this is the motherboard. You can't really see properly because it's in this anti-static bag. But it's Micro ATX, so it's nothing special, really. Oh, I actually need two hands for this. All right, give me a second. All right, there we go. Uh, that's more clear. Okay, so you got your standard AM4 socket. And the motherboard actually has this green PCB looking. It's not it's not black, or at least it's not green, thankfully. But, I mean, it would look a bit weird in a new system, that is. So, there's that to consider. You got, like, five chokes on them. That's what they're called, chokes. These um, big grey blocks here. And you got solid capacitors, uh, that's good. Two DIMM slots, so you're limited for upgradability. Standard uh, 24 pin for your motherboard. And you actually have a 4 pin for the CPU, not an 8 pin. So you are limited in um, how far you can... Actually, I wouldn't even overclock on this CPU. Oh, you can't You can't overclock on A320 motherboards, actually. Oh, so that's probably why they have a, a 4 pin. So it will, give you, it will get your um, CPU up and running, just like I said, but... Can't do anything special on it really. You got one PCIe by 16 slot here. Um, it's USB, no, not USB, PCIe Gen 3, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there we are. Yeah, on the front it says P, um, PCIe Express 3.0. So it's not 4.0, obviously, because it's A320. Uh, 4.0 is pretty much only supported on X570 and B550 motherboards. And it also supports AMD Ryzen 3rd Gen CPU, so that's good. It won't support. 5th gen CPUs, however, you are going to have to upgrade to a B550 motherboard, or even B450, but you're going to have to wait a while for the new BIOS update to support it. Okay, so let's actually see what specs there are on here. So, of course, yeah, two DIMM slots, everything. It supports... Oh my god, this camera's horrible, come on. All right, yeah, DDR4 up to 2666 megahertz, just stock, not overclocked or anything, but overclocked actually supports 3200 megahertz. That is really good. Now, I'd say that's the best value in terms of price to performance for RAM, for AMD CPUs. Um, got some audio boost, I think it is, or something like that. And you got solid capacitors. Yeah, that's really good, so they won't wear away as easily or as not as quickly. And, oh, wait, it does have onboard outputs, actually. So you got your DVI and HDMI. Uh, four USB 3s and two USB 2s and also PS2 ports as well so I guess if you actually have something that will support PS2 yeah there you go you got that and limited onboard IO to be I mean audio but to be honest most people that are just going to be using the red and green ones because that's what you usually need for headsets and such and that's actually pretty much it so yeah A320 chipset uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs first gen and third I'm pretty sure you will need a BIOS update to update to the third gen series, but shouldn't be too much of a hassle, uh, pretty much. It's got USB 3 at the bottom, not on the side. Usually they are on the side, but this one's at the bottom. You've got two USB uh, 2 ports. Not sure why you need two, because 
I don't think you're going to be strapping a, an AIO on this anytime soon. <laughs> and you got front panel um, audio here. You got two SATA, oh sorry, four SATA ports here. So you won't have uh, any problem connecting like hard drives or even S SSDs. These are for your front panel connectors. It's just normal that many. It should be a manual included, but we'll get onto the accessories that come later. But also, it only comes with one CPU fan header, so if you're installing the normal Wraith Stealth or Prism cooler, you'll have no problem with that, but if you are installing like a tower cooler with multiple fans, you can only plug one in. And only one fan header, you don't get two, you only get one, so... I mean, one way you could cheat around it is uh, including a hub, uh, adding a fan hub to this, so you can just add more fans. So that's actually pretty much it, nothing on the back is there, oh, whoops, oh, I just pressed that, okay. Um. Yeah, nothing on the back, obviously. It didn't even come with an M.2 slot, I just realized, so... That as well. So, let's look into the accessories now. Okay, so, accessory time. Just don't need this really plopper there. So, you got your IO shield. You got two SATA cables included. One right-angled and one just normal. So, that's good. A thank you message, because, of course, they care. You got CDs for drivers and stuff. Not really sure anybody uses that anymore. And your installation guide, your manual. So if you have if you're having any trouble, you can just use this. Oh, it actually comes with an Intel one as well. So I'm assuming they reuse this manual, which isn't bad really, but it's just strange. And finally, arguably the most important thing is the MSI Dragon Drew Gaming logo thing. So you can stick it onto your case if you want, or your car actually. <laughs> you can stick it on your car if you want anything really. So that's actually it from here. So finally, that brings us to the last bit of the uh, unboxing and review is should you get this motherboard? In my opinion, yeah. It's perfectly fine if, however, you want to just get in a CPU. I think the most I would go with this is a Ryzen 5 3600. Say for example, uh, you can just about afford a Ryzen 5 3600 but you can't afford a B450 motherboard, then if you just want to save some cash and get this later, get a better motherboard down the line, this is perfectly fine to be honest. It's got all the stuff that you need and can run at 3200 megahertz all by with two dim slots. Fine, but for long term, no. There's limited upgradability. I didn't realize there's like a 4X one here as well. But you only got one PCIe base 16, so you can't run two that supports 16X bifurcation. And also only a 4-pin, and you can't overclock on this motherboard. So, yeah, that's it, really. Uh, if you like this video, then give it a like. If you didn't like it, then a dislike. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 200 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it a lot if you subscribed. Uh, that's it for me. All right, bye.